Today, Jenny comes back after a very long time away hurricane hunting. And I know y'all are sick of seeing just my face here on the YouTube channel. Anyway, we got a lot to do to prepare before she comes home. We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. All right, new day, new Bucky shirt. So uh, yesterday we got a little bit of a head start on gluing up some of the cutting board blanks. That's what you see in the floor down there. So I guess let's get you up to speed. stack some of them this way, some of them the other way, because I've been like knocking them off. And of course, if they're all stacked the same way, when you knock off some of them, the rest of them are just gonna tumble. But layering them like this makes it much more sturdy. I also just realized I put all the cherry ones on top and all the maple ones on bottom. I used to do them on two separate carts. For whatever reason, I kept them all together this time. But now I get to dig to the bottom for the maple when I start making boards. So I may have to restack these anyway. This is how you change the dust collector out without getting sawdust all over the shop or wasting bags. Four full bags of these chips will fit into one of these contractor bags. You pull the bag out, you scrunch it up, you put this bag over the other bag, and then you turn it upside down. And then just pull out your first bag. This is maybe the third or fourth time that we've made cutting boards like this. And I just, I'm so glad we have a nice procedure. I mean, I can't believe I got all this accomplished today. Like I'm already gluing a board. Like it's just, it's, it's mindless. Once you do it two or three times, you don't have to keep reinventing the wheel on how you make cutting boards. Once you get a good procedure down that's repeatable, man, you can get really fast. 
And that brings us here. So uh, today I'm just gonna keep gluing up slats and making blanks. This is the most time consuming part of the process. Not because it takes so long to put them in the clamps, it's just it takes so long for the glue to dry. I would love to have enough clamps to where I could do an entire batch of boards in one go. Can you imagine, imagine, can you imagine like 100 or 200 pipe clamps just for cutting board? Oh my gosh, that would be the most beautiful wall ever. So we have some stuff to do while the glue is drying. Today, Jenny comes back after a very long time away hurricane hunting. We picked up this tradition from Bruce A. Ulrich that on Friday nights we have steak night. To celebrate her coming back, I would like to splurge with a steak night. So I've got the steaks out, they're thawing, and I don't have enough sides because the fridge is empty because you know I eat like an eight-year-old when she's not around. So um, we got to go to the grocery store to get some veggies for side dishes. So we get to go to Texas's favorite grocery chain, H-E-B. Have you ever been to H-E-B? It's like Bucky's, but instead of a gas station, it's a grocery store. It's equivalent to like Publix or, I don't know, what are some of the other equivalents? Have you ever been to an H-E-B? It's kind of wonderful. I thought it was sort of overhyped when we first got here, but uh, now I'm a big believer, so. Although unpopular opinion, H-E-B's coffee is trash. We do not buy coffee from H-E-B. Tastes like motor oil, it's gross. I never get a cart at the grocery store because if you do, you buy too much. So you hand carry everything. Follow me for more money saving tips. I always grab whatever wine is on sale. Follow me for more fine dining tips. I think our glue is dry so we can get our last batch of boards in the clamps before Jenny gets home. That's dry enough. I thought I'd try a new camera angle. I feel like I'm in a Beastie Boys music video or something. So one of our favorite things to do on steak night is make homemade bread. Jenny just called me. She's about three hours out, so that's the perfect amount of time to get started. You know, so baking is basically chemistry, right? So like, I'm always worried when I find a recipe, like, do they account for like the honey that doesn't come out of the bowl? Or like when it says two tablespoons of honey, does it like, does it automatically know that you're not gonna get every last little bit of honey in there? Ratios in chemistry are incredibly important. It can come out totally different just by a few extra ounces of different ingredients. And just, I don't know, I'm always like curious, like it might taste totally different in your kitchen, but because you know, you scrape the side of the bowl to get all the honey out, but I don't because I'm lazy. These are the things that plague my mind. All right, steak night is almost ready. I got the wine poured, got the veggies ready to go, steaks are ready to go, bread is baking, mashed potatoes are done, and she should be here any minute. Her 
first sit down. We're trying to be dramatic. Sit. She's here. She's here. She just pulled in. She just pulled in. Welcome back. Hi. Ask me how I do it. I just stick to the play. 